On October 9th, 2023, Two FWC officers were dispatched to the Blackwater State Forest after it had been reported that there was an abandoned trailer parked for over two weeks in a non-designated camping area. Once at the campsite, the officers were greeted by a man later identified as Justin, who we will later discover is the man responsible for trashing other campsites, but foolishly, he left his mail behind with all of his other garbage. How y'all doing today? Good. Good. I'm Officer Pritchard with Florida Fish and Wildlife. This is Officer Sense. Good. Are y'all trying to get this thing out of here? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your, your ID on you? What's that? Do you have your ID on you? I do not. Um, actually, last night I was looking for it. Justin Del Pico, though I don't have it. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't have that. My wife's missing hers. I don't have two credit cards. Someone's been stealing all our shit down at Hardy Adams. Okay. Are you here by, is it just the three of you or is there yeah, more people? We had another guy. He took off on his... Raph or his canoe he had sitting up here. Okay. He said that uh, he'd be back in a little bit, but we're just trying to get it hooked up and wait for him. Okay. I guess he had some buddies down the river or something, but. Is there any weapons or anything or in the in the campsite area anywhere no. in the truck at all no. or anything like that? I mean, if we check just to make sure, just for all of our safety and everything. I don't see whether there's a reason. I've been hit by you guys before, and there's no. Or is, is the truck belong to you? Yes, the truck belongs to me. Okay. Uh, What's the problem with all that? Like, well, one of the reasons because the camper, for one, has been here for more than 14 days. No, um, I talked to the head of the, your guys' uh -huh. and he said I had till Monday. Today's Sunday. Okay, when did you? what day did you talk to him? Uh, it was Saturday. Last Saturday? Yeah, last, yeah, last Saturday. Saturday. Okay. No, it was last Monday. Yeah. Yeah, we talked to, what the hell was his name? Some lady was out here. And was it Forestry? Yeah. It was Forestry then, that's who you talked to. You talked to him in person out here at the no, campsite? on the phone. On the phone, yeah, okay. So she, uh, she called him. She called him? Yeah. And we told her that we were going to help pick up the trash. And yeah, we cleaned up the, we cleaned oh, okay. up the trash okay. out here. You know, kind of as a curse, thank you. Okay. Um, and they were, they were fine with it, so yeah, we're getting it out of here. Okay. Like I said, I thought I had till tomorrow. Is that your vehicle too? No. Okay, that's someone else's. That that's they're not with you. No. Okay. Okay. Right. They were here when we pulled up. And hey, you uh, said this one's registered to you. Yes, sir. And your first name's spelled. J U S T I N. Mm-hmm. And then middle initial. D. That's fine. Did David, did David Creamer, did they talk to you in regards to uh, this being a primitive campsite? Oh, well, she did. Yeah, she did? She, she, and I asked her what primitive meant. Uh, Colorado, we don't have all these rules like that. We are uh, okay. originally from Colorado. Okay, yeah. So, um, okay, so she explained to you what primitive campsite yeah, 14, was. and then you got to leave the whole forest for three days. Like yeah, it can be anywhere on the Blackwater. Anywhere else in Blackwater. Yes. Then you can come back for yes. another 14 days. Yeah. But as far as the primitive, she didn't explain to you that primitive is... um. It's more of a like tent camping, as well. Mm -hmm. She didn't say that. that. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like y'all had it all resolved because we we're getting a lot of calls in regards to this being here as well, saying that a lot of people are thinking it's an abandoned camper. So what I'm trying to do is sell it right now. Oh yeah. So okay. So that's why I'm getting it out of here. I was gonna redo it and everything, but okay. We're planning on trying to get out of here. Hardy Adams down there, man, is a. Uh, Hardy like I said, Adams. I'm missing all of my shit, man. Do you live off Hardy Adams? Yeah. You do. Okay. We just moved here from Navarre, originally from Colorado, but. Man, there's too many, too much going around. All my stuff coming up missing. Not Have y'all done any camping elsewhere? Uh, no. Just here? Yeah, just here. We've kind of drove around looking for spots, but I haven't found a spot that was actually like this. That I thought we could move a camper. You know what I mean? Or, mm -hmm. or, or set up for a while. Or. Mm -hmm. You said that whatever you bring in, you have to pack in and pack out. And that's not a problem because we always yeah. pack out. And what's the deal with this fire? They well, do controlled right. burns yeah. every yeah, once uh, in a while. Forestry does control burns. Okay. So we got here one day and I was like, what the hell? We were looking around and I said, it had to have been controlled. They had to do it. I explained to him. It wasn't like was. that when you first got here? No. Oh. No, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. forestry will do controlled burns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got here one day and we left one day. We came back a couple days later and I was like, what the hell? Okay. And we didn't light no fires or nothing. So yeah. So Am I the only person that thinks that the fire is pretty sus? The whole reason the officers even came to this campsite is because the trailer had been sitting there for over 14 days. And I highly doubt the fire department did a controlled burn next to a camping trailer equipped with 200 pounds of propane. I want to know in the comments, did, did you pick up on that? Forestry does control burns. It helps keep, it, it just helps the forest, uh, maintain the forest, uh, vegetation. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, 
was just weird because there was a campfire right here. Yeah. Somebody had built and it, and it looked like nothing was attached, so I was like, man. It wasn't your campfire? No. no. Is there anything else? We're just making sure that this is okay, because like I said, I mean, we've gotten calls that this was an abandoned camper, so. Yeah. But. Yeah, we're just waiting to, for them to come back, running on your tag and, and you, and then. Okay. Um, you have the registration for this? Uh, for, the, for the trailer? Yeah. No. No? Hey, okay. Mr. Peacock, you mind if we talk to you over here for a minute? Yeah, sure. Wait for your kids. Mm -hmm. You don't think we're out here for any other violations? I think you should probably know the other there are other issues that we're talking about. What's that? You don't? No, I don't. Okay, I'm just going to let you know. Right off the bat, I'm going to read something to you. I'm only going to give you one opportunity to be honest with me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to you to represent you before any questions if you wish. If you consent to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will have the right to stop answering that at any time. Do you understand each of these rights? Yes. All right. With these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You say this is the only spot that you've camped in Blackwater recently? In Blackwater, yes. So is there a reason why we found evidence of your mail at another location with a bunch of different other violations? Right. On Bone Creek? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did stay there. But that was in Blackwater. I didn't think anywhere. So Bone Creek is is part of okay, Blackwater. Well, that's my fault there too, because we did stay there. Yes, sir. Um, did you camp? Or was it just a regular yeah, camp? Camped, just uh, a regular camp, or did you pull the camper in no, there too? No, just a regular camp. We had just, some tents set up. Okay. What um, what color were the tents? Do you want to do a cream color and green, and the bigger one we had a, a, a gray one or something set up for a little while. It's a sound about one? right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the area we're talking about. Okay. Okay, so um, what, what it, as far as uh, the whole setup you all had there, you had a pretty nice setup there, huh? Uh, it, was, it was all right. It was kind of yeah. whatever, but we went back and cleaned it up. Like I said, man, here's my story, man. We left Navarra, lost everything, man. I was making okay. some bad choices there for a while. We got out here. My mother-in-law moved out here. Things were supposed to go differently than they were. I since then cleaned up my bad choices. And trying to bounce back, man. I have business. I got three fucking kids. Um, excuse my language. Yeah, I understand. Um, just trying to get the bounce back coming, man. And it's hit left, right. Every time I turn around, I'm getting hit, man, with something. And I mean, that's life. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to get back up on these two feet. Both of my boys, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. So that was our first landing spot until things were where she could move. We moved in there. Shit went south. Um, now... I'm trying to get this fixed up because we were going to live in it. Now, at this point, I want to get this out of here. I want to mm -hmm. get it. I got people right now just giving me 500 bucks as the highest offer right now and try to get out of here and start okay. first somewhere else. So, we did stay there for a minute, yes. Um, okay. I don't know. We left a little mess. Uh, I don't know. We went back to clean it up. I got what I could at the time. Things were going the way they were going. Um, did, did you guys um, use the area as, as, like, target practice, too, or...? My yeah, my wife and my wife used uh and the kids, but not very much. Okay. They they shot at a just, pa paper just a plates. Bit. Yeah. What uh, what did they what did they shoot? Paper plates. Just paper plates uh -huh. that were that were stuck to the tree. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then what uh, what type of what type of gun was used? Shotgun. A shotgun and sure. and what else? Twenty two. Okay. My son's twenty two. And you said you guys cleaned up the area when you left? Cause we, well, when we, the first time we left, no, we left We left it like it was in a hurry. We went back up there, and then I later went down there, cleaned up more, and I still got to get back down there mm -hmm. and do it. But, man, like, I, I'm on the go, looking for a place, looking, and I'm hit or miss. When I get back down there, I'll clean up more, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know I should do it all at that one time, but I didn't. And, the, and you were there with them when they were when they were target practicing and everything? No. You no, I was out looking for work or doing whatever the hell I was doing, man. They keep all that away from me. I'm not supposed to be around them. Okay, but they had it there, the campsite, though, and that's where you guys were staying? Yeah, to okay. be honest, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it was there. They were there when you were there. But they weren't shooting them, yes. Okay. Everything but was unloaded and, and kept away from you, not okay. in a locked place or nothing like that. But Okay. And right now I'm actually working on sealing my record because it's been since 2004, since my last conviction. Okay. Um, so you're... Well aware that you're a felon, convicted felon, yes, and that you shouldn't be around firearms yes, or sir. ammunition whatsoever. 
Or ammunition. See that? Correct. Florida is different than Colorado, man. That's not like this in Colorado. No, you can still be around them. You can't carry them personally without somebody that is, but that's nothing like Florida, man. And then as far as uh, everything else, can you kind of explain how you guys have it set up there? You drop down in the hole. There was... And, and uh, before, sorry, before you finish, like I said, you've been very honest with me, and I appreciate that. And as long as you continue to be honest with me, and don't lie to me, because I'm going to know if you're lying. Obviously, we've already been there. So just continue on the streak of being honest yeah. with me, and I'm going to work with you, okay? And so when you pull off right where that sand gets deep, pull off down to the right. We had There was a boat we found there up the road a little bit. We call it the water hole. I guess that's the actual peacock hole. But that was off to the left up there. We dug it down. I told my kids around on it for a little bit. It was filled up with trash anyway, um, and then you come down, there's a little field there, there were some tools and a thing left there because I had nowhere to put it. Mm -hmm. There was a big tree with um, with a rope across we used for a, a clothesline, and then dropped down by the creek. We had a fire pit, and then our tent set up with a little table attached to a tree, and uh, that's basically our setup, unless I'm missing something. So you guys, um, you guys did some cutting of the trees and stuff like that to, a little to bit do dead your... ones. We tried to get the dead ones. Yes. Okay, and you did some like nailing and stuff to the trees yes, and sir. building and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Okay. Not allowed to do that. No, so that's 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 what we're here to to address. Um, it, it, like all of that is a violation because it's in Blackwater State Forest. Man, I need um, to get this rule regulations or something. And that's fine. We can get you like a copy of the brochure right. today so that you're if you guys do end up coming back in the state forest. Yes, sir. Him, I'm gonna go. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go grab yeah, the I got you. truck real quick. Okay, so like like Officer Pritchard said, um, it, it's just something that because you've been you know completely honest with you, there's several violations right for okay. Blackwater. We're we're gonna do our best to work with you in regards to that. Uh, I just wanted we just we were just we saw this here probably a week before forestry showed up. So anything else, man? I'm, I'm open book, man. I ain't here to. Nah, you're good. You're I'm good. To bounce back. I ain't trying to go yeah, I got anymore. you. And that's that's what we look forward to, man. We we want to see people trying to uh, get back on the right track. And uh, just to confirm, you said you don't have any weapons on site or anything. Okay. All right. All right. All right, boys. That's all right, man. That's all right. Where where do you say exactly the where's the firearm and, and ammunition right now? Down at and locked in her mom's safe. It's in her mom's safe. Okay, yeah. so. You just got me kind of concerned because obviously you got your kids here. Right. You don't want me searching the vehicle. Is there well, any reason? Is there anything illegal no, in there? Just, no, there's nothing there's illegal no illegal. narcotics, no, no nothing no, in there. No, there's All nothing right. in there. It's just one of those, you know, your rights. Okay, so your rights, but I, I like understand your rights, but like I said, technically the, you are a legal camper right now. You're on state forest. Right. Um, to ease my mind, I can you can, either, you can go two ways. We can either deal with it now and, you know, whatever we come across, we'll deal with it now. But... I can call Kane out and hire you to do a free air sniff. If there's anything illegal in there, they're going to find it. Mm -hmm. So, And we're going to be busy here we're writing some, some citations for the other area. So you want to just handle it now? And Go ahead and handle it. There's, guess, is, there, is there anything illegal that i got to know of that's in there right now? Uh, <laughs> not that I'm aware of. Not that you're aware of? Okay. I said I live in here. My kids are in and out of here. I just, for, um, to ease our mind, like I said, with you being here, I just want to make sure there's nothing in there right. illegal. So, you, so you're yeah. okay with with me just looking real quick? Yeah. It's not going to take long, okay? Right, Mr. Peacock, yes, come here, please. I've been doing this long enough to know what that is. Yeah, so do I. That's so, just, just supposed to be out of here because I've been clean now. Alright, so where is it at in the vehicle? What? I don't have any. I swear to God on everything I love, sir. There's I nothing no, in the I've vehicle at all. I was supposed to be thrown away. What I'm going to leave it here for I'm gonna leave it here for right now. Okay. Alright. Just stay there for right now, though. Alright. Put your hands behind your back. What's that? You got a shotgun shell back oh, there. Oh, what? A shotgun shell? Yep. Come oh, on, man. I don't want to do this in front of kids, but I don't have another chance. Right now, man, we're just... Know, man. Hey, listen. We're just detaining you right now, okay? Your, your dad's not being arrested right now, okay? He's just he's just being detained, okay? Just so that we can do the search, okay? Okay? So every, everything's all right. Everything's okay. We had to place your dad in handcuffs, okay? He's not arrested right now. He's just detained right now, okay? 
I need you to come with the licensed driver out here to the camper. Out there to the camper? Yeah, you, you left a shotgun shell in my truck and whatever like that. You left it in my truck when I told you to clean it out. And now um, you need to come get the kids. We've got some violations that we're going to ride him for. We're not taking him to jail or anything today, um, but he is going to have um, several citations, not only for this location, but also for the location that you guys were, were at previously to this camping. There's a plate that is nailed to a tree that you're using for target practice. That was somebody and they, else that was up there that was stuck. It's different from what he said. All right, so your driver's license is not valid. So listen, yeah, she, they have someone else coming. Someone else is coming with a dri valid driver's license, okay? But you can't drive out of here because if you get, you're, I'm gonna tell you right now, yeah. with with not having a tag on that, you're very, very likely to get pulled over, and uh, I don't think you want a DWLSR charge for How not long having. Has it been, has it been I can same? look um, as as far as that goes, but just I just wanted you to be aware of that, though. Justin was charged with illegal camping, violation of wildlife management area regulations possession of ammunition by a convicted felon, and possession of drug paraphernalia. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure how he didn't go to jail for this. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. I need them for validation.